Paul, so welcome back to uh, Regal Gentleman uh, Barber Tutorial YouTube channel, everything grooming. So we've got beards today. Beards are a special one. Like, I do like to feel like I specialise in them a little bit since you know, I've had one myself since I was about 14, 15 years old. So um, yeah, I've been doing them a long time. And the thing is with beards is it's the smallest little changes that make the biggest uh, that make the biggest impact. So sort of we're going to just run through this today. Keep it. We're going to keep the shape. Do you want to keep it like nice and square? Or do you want to like bring it up a little bit around? Yeah, the... I think like you're looking. I don't know what I've been doing with it, but like it seems to like always curl in. Yeah, and like the center is like shorter. Yeah. Um. Also, like yeah, it's basically just square it off. Cool. I would like and um, I don't know and um, yeah, just sort of fade it down. Cool. I don't know. I kind of like the sort of color change that I've got yeah, going yeah. on, sort of around the goatee area. So I tend to sort of leave a little bit of a like, sweet and then the beard line here do you want to keep it sort of high um, or do you like to drop it down it down yeah drop it's only high because i was like to grow a little bit but without me touching it for it okay cool no worries and with the shape down here as well do you want to should we bring it up a little bit so it's a little bit more of an angle or do you want to keep it quite square? yeah yeah probably keep uh, bring it up um, bring it up yeah because exactly. then that way you're going to leave the boxiness a little exactly, bit it's going to complement yeah, yeah. the shape of the head a little bit more and also give you like it's gonna, you, we're gonna sort of shadow where your jawline is as yeah. well, do you know what I mean? So I mean, that, that was always the attempt for myself yeah, yeah, for the exactly. clippers, but um, cool. I could do one side and never the other. <laughs> no worries. I mean, the only way of sort of combating the kink and what's going on here mm -hmm. is by actually blow drying it every day. So you literally, from damp, so. when you get out of the shower, towel dry mm -hmm. it really well. Like, you don't want to blow dry anything from soaking wet. Yeah. Yeah to be there all day. And you get a little round brush like that. Mm -hmm. and it's a bit of hot air. Just roll it down and that just gets rid of the kink straight away. Oh. You can use beard balms and beard oils and all that, mm -hmm. but they don't really I think a lot of people think they're gonna a lot of guys they, they, they think they're gonna use a beard balm or beard oil. And it's mm -hmm. gonna do that for them straight, straight away. Straight, yeah. It's not that's, that's this, it straight away. This is this. So that's quick and it's real easy to do on yourself as well. You kind of just roll it through and it's not, it's not too hard. It might take a little bit of getting used to, but it's not hard at all. So that's the way you get rid of that kink. Everything else here on the side, I'm just going to run through it with the air dryer and then we're going to just... So I'm just going to keep you up straight for this. Going to trim up on the on the lip, take some of the weight out of the moustache, not get rid of it completely, but definitely take it off the lip there, mm -hmm. and then line up the beard here and fade all of this in. Then I'll put your head back and we'll do it all, all underneath here. Yeah? Okay. I'm just going to skim off the edges and just bring the beard back in line with the shape of the head otherwise beards, beards do tend to grow out so they they will kind of just carry on going that way so it's important to just skim it down take off those struggles and then where it starts curving in underneath that's where I'm going to take off that's where I'm going to start taking off so as it starts bending there so probably like the the bottom sort of inch inch and a half sort of thing around there and then actually on the side here I'm going to bring it I'm going to angle it sort of from bottom of the earlobe down to that initial point that we've cut there. That way we give it a nice sort of 
angle and we show off the shape of the face a little bit and create a shape as well. back as well what I'll do is also come up and skim the uh, skim the top of the moustache and that just takes away some of the weight from where it's all sticking up. Exactly what I've been going for myself. Yeah, I know you've been trying. There you go, man. It's alright. It happens. It happens. For anyone who is like James Kemp, yeah. like, who doesn't really know what they're doing with their beard, or, or I would beard, recommend just going to a good barber, to be honest. I wouldn't say trying to approach a beard by yourself. I know it seems like, because we're so used to shaving ourselves and you know getting a foam and razor and all that and trying to do it, we feel like we can do our beards ourselves. But with a beard, it is very much all about angles mm -hmm. and looking at it from different angles. That's why I kind of asked you to go like that so that I can see there kind of where it is and me as well, putting your head back and then forward. And then I'm mm -hmm. always like ducking and diving and seeing where it's poking out and where it's not mm -hmm. because it can look good from this angle yeah. and then you turn like that and it could be poking out and that doing that's stuff. generally what I've found exactly yeah. so when you're trying to do it yourself unless you're, you're, you're in literally a, a, like a cylinder room with mirrors all around you it's quite hard to kind of get those angles and, and try and do it yourself so I would recommend just going to a good barber someone that you know is good or recommended or again use Instagram and YouTube and all that to find yourself someone and go to them and just let them deal with it it's the same as trying to cut your hair at home really to be honest when you're dealing with a beard of sort of my length or longer then it starts getting complicated it's not just a matter of trimming it with, with, a, with a number and, and trying to maintain it especially with these lines as well so when we put the lines in that kind of really sets the beard. Obviously, we've got the shape and it's all nice and neat now. But these lines, once they start out, start, once they start to grow out, a lot of people grab a razor, a Mac 3, and they'll try and put the, the lines back in. That's the quickest way of just ruining your whole beard because if you just take a chunk out somewhere, yeah. that's it. You, you kind of either have to sit with it and let it grow, or what you can do, which is what I tell everyone to do, is grab yourself. It doesn't have to be something like this, mm -hmm. but a foil shaver of some sort, you can pick up fairly cheap ones. Sorry. You can pick up fairly cheap ones, little ones like that. They even um, you can even get USB ones that plug straight into your laptop or whatever and they just charge. They're all the same mechanics, these are just a little bit heavy duty because we're using them all day. But this basically you can stick it right on your face, you only gotta look at your it doesn't cut long hair. This at all. Right. Yeah? So it only cuts millimeter long hair. Anything longer than that and it will start pulling. So you ain't got to worry about it when right. you're when you're on your cheeks a day in a day into it growing out growing or two days in, you just run that over. You could do it in the dark and it would literally just keep that line as fresh for as long as you keep doing it. Do you know what I mean? And like I said, it doesn't cut long hair, yeah? So you're cool. You ain't got to worry about it. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then that's it. Got, and, and you can also use that for underneath here. Yeah. Because also, like you, like you can see, I've taken off all of that mm. underneath. Because what happens is here and here grows at the same rate. Mm -hmm. So you end up with this throat beard. And you end up with a real sort of, it kind of almost just elongates your face mm -hmm. a little bit more than what you want it to. So that's also another way of just running this over. Use a little bit of talcum powder if you find you've got irritant skin. Um, ir irritable skin, sorry. Just use a little bit of talc and that acts as like a bit of a barrier between the foil and your skin. And uh, it should, should be nice and smooth. And then just moisturize and wash and clean your beard as, as you would your face. Yeah? Okay. Wicked, man. It's great. All good. And even if you don't blow dry this now, even if you do have, um, just from like damp, if you do have a round brush or any sort of comb, just comb it. Just comb it out from mm -hmm. damp, towel dry it as much as you can, and just comb it out and hopefully those it doesn't spring up too much, yeah? If you do have access to a hair dryer, then a little bit of hot air mm -hmm. will, will help. But um, this all should, should sit quite nice. It shouldn't bounce back too much, but yeah, man, see how you get on.